Ready for a new style? Call Double A Salon in Wheeler Springs Plaza, 775-764-1898. For a lot of migraine sufferers or patients who have migraines in general, uh, screen time plays a very important role being uh, a common trigger among many other triggers that these patients are aware of. Dr. Estamolik says part of the reason why is migraine sufferers have photosensitivity to light. So the combination of staring at a bright screen plus the overhead lights in a room can become a trigger. He says staring at screens, especially for long periods of time, can also cause headaches, which are much less debilitating than migraines, but of course are just as uncomfortable to deal with. So what can someone do to prevent these kinds of issues? Dr. Estamolik recommends adjusting the lights in the room you're in, if possible, and also taking frequent breaks. And that doesn't mean getting rid of your computer and then switching to your phone. You should be taking a complete break from screens. That same advice applies in the evenings after work too. I think really if we can moderate the amount as well and really minimize uh, screen time, phone time, especially in the in, in, in the one to two hours before you know someone goes to sleep, I think that will make a tremendous difference.